All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR here again. Um, and in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about, because I don't want to spend too much time on this, even though every time I say that, the video ends up being 15 minutes long, but don't want to spend too much time on this. But we're going to talk about these uh, a few of these Last of Us rumors, right? So the current rumors for The Last of Us are uh, that are that the Last of Us remake, which, by the way, I gotta say, why the hell are we getting a Last of Us remake? I want to go on record to say I'm one of the people who thinks that there should not be a Last of Us remake. It is completely pointless. Nobody asked for this. Why are they doing it? And then I'm going to look like an absolute, admittedly, dumbass by saying when it's released of course i'm gonna get it i mean it is what it is right sometimes there's things you don't want that you don't ask for it doesn't mean you wouldn't play it you just think it's kind of pointless it's a waste of time it's a waste of resources it's like why why you know why but of course i'm still gonna get it because i think if for the record everybody knows i'm not the biggest fan of the original last of us mainly because of of its gameplay and you know i wasn't like one of those mesmerized by it by its story um at the time either so what am i gonna play the remake because it's gonna be a better version of the original game yeah i mean yeah it's, it's i would probably have a lot more fun with it but at the same time it doesn't need one Right, it's still a modern game. It's a fairly modern game. It came out what two thousand was that? Two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve? No, two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. That's a pretty modern game. A lot of Naughty Dog's time and resources could be going to towards something else. Now, granted, they are working on multiple projects. All studios work on multiple projects. We know that, and I'm going to get to these things, they're, they are working on The Last of Us Factions. We know that. And there also seems to be the... the uh, there also seems to be the Last of Us 2 um, Director's Edition coming. So those are the three rumors that we're getting. We're getting a Last of Us uh, remake, pretty much going to be using, you know, uh, the engine of the Last of Us 2 and, and a lot of the improvements in that game. The ones that they can make that can still make logical sense to be put in the first game. I'm sure they're going to do that. <clears throat> so we're getting the Last of Us remake. We're getting factions and we're getting the Last of Us Director's Cut. And the rumor also uh, speculates that all of this could be packaged together. Well, not not the not factions. We know factions is going to be a standalone game. It's possible it could launch together or around the same time, though. But the Last of Us Two Director's Cut and the Last of Us Remake could be bundled together, which would obviously make sense. If you know, if you if you're gonna remake this one and then get make a director's cut for two, which you know, it makes sense to package the game together so people who want it um, could have, you know, both both entries in, in the franchise. It makes sense, right? But I don't, that's part of the rumor. I don't know if they're going to sell it, sell, sell these things alone, sell it together, you know, do both. I don't know, right? But once again, I still feel like it's just a waste of time of, of, of for Naughty Dog's resor resources, man. Like it's, and it's a waste of time. And, and it's like, yes, we know, Naughty Dog works on multiple projects, like I said, all all studios do. But this this one project in the multiple of projects, you could easily remove that and replace it with something else that's actually newer, something we haven't experienced before, something we actually want. Not The Last of Us. Because we already got The Last of Us remastered. Now we're about to get The Last of Us remake. The Last of Us Remastered made, made sense. The Last of Us Remake doesn't. Like, it's like, come on, man. This is this is a whole bunch of repackaging. And, and I and I I I just hate when uh uh, uh like a, a, a franchise and IP is just sat on for too long and like milked a little bit. You know, because no on top of all these projects, Naughty Dog is also working on their official next gen PlayStation exclusive game which we don't know anything about but i think the code name for it is strays cross or something like that that thing is probably an early development or something like that wait right we might not hear about that 
for a while. We're definitely not going to see it for a while. But yeah, I don't, I don't, and and it's, I don't know if I mentioned, it's also rumored that it's going to release in the latter half of 2022, um, which I don't necessarily completely believe because even though it's a remake, um, you know, it's not the same as, you know, uh, just making a brand new game. I still think they'll probably, probably need more time. And I can't imagine, I just can't really see them announcing a game in the same year and then releasing it in the same year. I just don't see Naughty Dog doing that unless they've been working on this uh, Last of Us game, um, this Last of Us remake longer than what we've we've known. And if you remember correctly, I can't remember which studio it was, but some of you may remember the story. This Last of Us remake started out with one of the support studios. Some support studio actually started on um, the Last of Us remake, and then slowly Naughty Dog actually uh, started to, you know, pretty much take command of their project because it's their baby, it's their child. They know more. They they made the damn game. So the studio that was actually working on it got pushed to the side. That's how this thing even you know came to fruition. Naughty Dog wasn't even the original studio working on this. And I wish it kind of would have stayed like this. Like, is is Naughty Dog probably going to make a better version, a better remake than this other studio, than what this other studio would have made? Uh, probably, yeah. But still, I kind of wish that the other studio would have would have focused on that. We, I, want PlayStation first party studios to be focusing on future projects and, and the future and anything that has to do with PC ports like remakes, remasters, all that stuff. I want like them to, you know, contract that out to other studios to do that type of stuff. They should not be focused on anything from the past or, or nothing like that, man. That's just that's just my take on it. Um Yeah, and and we're waiting on factions, right? <sighs> Um, we're waiting on factions. What else can I say, man? Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired of saying we're waiting on factions. We know it's coming. They keep giving us these little, uh, these little assurances that hey, yeah, we're still working on it. Like just the other day, Arnie, which is uh, what is, what is he now? The director of, he used to be the director of communication at Naughty Dog. Now he's something else, but uh, he had, um. Just reiterated, yeah, this this Naughty Dog job position is for the multiplayer, uh, is for the multiplayer that they're working on. So it, we just get keep we just keep getting these little confirmations, like yeah, we are working on it, bro. I need I need to see factions before the before the second half of twenty twenty two, bro. I I know E three is dead, but if PlayStation does some type, you know, their uh does their own E three quote unquote show, I, I need to see factions then, bro. I absolutely need need to see it by then. And then the the other factions rumor that that's floating around is that it's gonna be free to play. Now, you could take that with a grain of salt because they pretty much arrived at the rumor that this is gonna be free to play um based on one of the job postings. But the job posting uh, is also similar to a job posting that they had posted for uh, the um, the the original factions game. They they needed somebody. They had somebody in that role, in that same role for the original factions, right? So it says uh, the job posting is for a senior monetization. Uh, an economy designer at the studio and says that the job will focus on in-game initiatives to increase revenue and conversion while maintaining a strong player first value system. Responsibilities include designing sustainable monetization systems in line with the game's vision and collaborating across broader development team uh, to maintain the, the game economy for the life of the game. The successful candidate will have at least two years experience working on monetization and economy systems for a live service game and will ideally have built a monetization model from scratch in the past. So yeah, you can understand while reading that why some people may think that this game is going to be free to play. But that 
also could be, you know, uh, economy and monetization as far as like in-game stuff. Um, because, you know, n the original factions had, uh, you know, um, microtransactions and, st and, and, and in-game store and all that stuff, right? So that stuff is going to be in factions too, uh, regardless, regardless of it, of it's, if it's free to play or not. But the problem with free to play models is when something is free to play, the pricing of everything in the store, you know, is usually more egregious in a free to play game, usually, right? And the whole game system is designed to recuperate the money on the back end. And the, and that's why, you know, everything designed around a free to play game is to get you to buy stuff. And that's, and that that always ruins the experience for the player for the game because the focus of the developer pretty much after they launch it becomes sell 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 get them to buy stuff and and that ruins the game you know uh and and the last of the original factions was already somewhat uh pay to win because of the how they uh sold weapons and stuff like that which they which they shouldn't have by the way so I, I don't want factions to be free to play. I already made a video on it, so I'm not going to, you know, linger on it too much. I think it's a bad idea if this game is free to play. And and people have been brainwashed to thinking, oh, the only way a game is going to succeed in today's climate is, is is if it's free to play. No, that's that's not true. That's not true. I'm not saying it, it, it should be $70. I'm not saying it should be $60, but we should you should have to pay something for factions because Free to play. The problem with free to play also is it lets when you let in anybody, when there's no barrier uh, to entry, everybody and anybody, you open the floodgates to the undesirables who and, and when you let in, open the floodgates to anybody, it kind of it somewhat ruins the community. It could be cheaters, even cheaters are less che cheaters are less prominent on consoles. Um, you know, some people think this game is going to go to PC day one. I don't. Uh, w could it go to PC eventually? I think that's possible, but I don't think it's day one. Um, that's another thing people think, oh, you got to gotta go to PC day one for it to be successful. I, I disagree with that. And like, once again, like you, you got to keep when people are willing to pay for something, it's likely they actually will care uh, about the, the health of the community. You, you when it's free to play, anybody will, will play and they don't care about the health of the community. They don't care about the health of the game, you know, and, and that's. That's very, you know, evident when you look at a lot of other free to play games and people will play it and because it's free, oh, I didn't pay for anything. They, they'll do anything. They'll ruin, ruin the community or they'll ruin the games for everybody else. It, it'll be, become a like it could become a bad experience really quick. So. Yeah, all of this, I just don't know, man, I, I don't know, but uh, those those are my thoughts on it. Um, I think, think the remake is pointless, I hope. I hope, you know, factions ain't free to play. I'm hoping a lot of things, but we're going to see how it turns out. Let me know what y'all think about this. And look at that. Pretty much made 15 minutes anyway. Well, 14, but same thing. Anyway, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Oh, hit the like button. Don't forget that. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell and hit the join button. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.